What if I tell you that 2026 is the year that we will stop purging filament when printing in multicolor? Yeah, that's right. Several different brands are betting on multi-tool systems that will have zero waste. And we've seen up close five of them at Form Next. So stick until the end of this video because I'll show you which one I feel is gonna be the most promising one. On the last couple of years, the big obstacle on multicolor 3D printing has been the waste. Waste of time and waste of filament. It all started when Bamboo Lab shook the market by introducing the AMS. A lot of people, including myself, love the possibility of printing in multiple colors. But over time, what we realized and became less tolerant with is that it does generate a lot of waste. But now there's a new generation of printers hitting the market and they're taking a completely different approach. They change the tool directly with no perch and no waste and the best of all, it's super fast. So let's start talking about the Bamboo Lab H2C. This have been by far the most popular stand of the fair. It brings a multi-tool system with a very fast snap, completely automatic with magnetized alignment and zero purge. The tool change is fast, clean and Bamboo Lab as always promises high precision. After all, it's Bamboo Lab. But the challenge now is in the competitors. But because other manufacturers have other solutions that are much cheaper. And in some cases, faster. Prusa Core 1 with Index. Index is the new Prusa system that now can be used on the Core 1. And here Prusa did something that is super smart. To make the color swap even faster, the IDEX leaves only the nozzles parked. All the electronics and heating components stay within the tool head. So what the system does, it goes, catches a hot end with the nozzle, heats for a little while, stabilizes the temperature, and then goes on to print the model, which in theory reflects directly in the quality between the different colors. Prusa XL. Prusa XL was one of the first printers to bring to the market the concept of multi-tool. The system is running for a while now, and it's not even close to be as compact as the Core ones, but still is a very reliable printer. The printer itself is not easy to assemble, so it does take a process to assemble everything, but it's ready for the 2026 competition. Wonder Maker ZR Ultra. This is a full surprise. Wonder Maker has arrived with a completely hybrid approach. Fast mechanical change, super precise, automatic calibration, and optical alignment. It literally uses light sensors to guarantee that the nozzle is fully aligned before printing. This project is still on Kickstarter, and the beta testers are not exactly super happy with how the outcome is going. They feel like the feedbacks have not been heard, but I think it's still a good idea to keep an eye on them. Snapmaker U1. Now, this is my true favorite, and to be honest, the only one that I get to actually test it. The unboxing video is in our channel if you wanna see how it goes, and the assemble is super cool as well. But what I can tell you is that this is an incredible machine. The color swap takes literally five seconds and has nothing else other than the purge tower. And what I think is the most incredible driving factor behind this printer is the price that is unmatched. The current price on the website is $849. If you compare, a P2S combo is $800, so it's super attractive. Now let's go to the overall view of all of them. H2C, the most technological and with the bamboo reliability and precision, one of the biggest build volumes, but with the second highest price and the color change is not that fast. It takes about 11 seconds. Prusa Core 1 Index. Simple engineering and yet incredibly efficient. Eight seconds on the color change, but the main disadvantage is that currently it's only an upgrade for everybody that has a Core 1 already. Prusa XL. Another model, but with an incredibly big build volume. It's a steeper price amongst all of them, and the color change is in about 7 seconds. Snapmaker U1. They still need to get the plug and play experience a little bit better. I feel that both the slicer and the app still need to improve a notch, but let's give it a discount because they're still on the beta version of everything. But the print quality is already incredible and it's out there. And something truly amazing is that the color change literally takes five seconds, which is incredible. Wondermaker ZR Ultra, a machine that we have less information about, but it could be an interesting choice, especially because the pricing is slightly above the Snapmaker, but under all the others. From what I could see, the color change takes about 13 seconds. So my expected winners for the market next year are going to be the Bamboo Lab H2C, 
the Snapmaker and the Prusa Core 1. The H2C because Bamboo Lab proved its worth on the previous generation of printers and we gotta give them respect for that. The Snapmaker because they were able to bring the innovation of the multi-tool at a very interesting price point and also the color change takes five seconds so it's super fast. If you put into account that we have thousands of layers that can have multiple color changes, imagine how much time do you gain when you have a few extra seconds on the color change. And obviously the Prusa because both in Europe and in the US they still have a very good reputation. Prusa has earned their spots in the hearts of the content creators within the 3D printing business and people that have been for long so I think they do have a chance in the next generation as well. Now I want to know your opinion. Which one of these printer has left you really excited to try it out? And which one do you think is going to dominate the market next year? And also comment down below which one you would like to see the unboxing. Is that maker we already have here in the channel so go check it out. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and share it with whoever you think it's an interesting content. See you in the next time.